Well, I would say that it's very upbeat if we were kind of qualify the vibe in that it's a very, very uh, collegial place for a journalist to habitate. I've met people from all over the world in the last three days, as I do every year when I do come here. And it's never any kind of preconditions of what kind of music one likes or what uh, type of a venue we're trying to write for or report for, if it be radio or what have you. So for me, it's a great opportunity to meet people in my profession as well as just the everyday folks that are here for music and lifestyle. I think that the unique thing about this festival is that it really caters to the public first and the aficionado second, but still manages to play all the right uh, you know, types of music. I mean, the jazz is still top notch, but then there's still populist things, whether it be a James Taylor or an extravaganza like Rufus Wainwright the other night. Something that everyone can relate to. There's no preconceived notion about how it has to be. And then you'll see a spectacular jazz concert like Wayne Shorter Quartet playing about as good as anyone on the planet can play jazz for an audience that is appreciative and also understands that type of music and understands the quality of the artists that we're being exposed to. And Andre and all the rest of his compatriots pay tributes to these artists in a really, really amazing way where they feel welcome and they choose to come back just like someone like me would choose to come back. The artists know how to uh, know that they're being well received here and they consider it a home away from home regardless if they are from New York, France, down under, it doesn't matter. We all come here because it's a home away from home. There is something special about the way that the people in Montreal respond to the jazz festival and the music that you guys present, whether it be on a free stage out in front of 20, 50, 75,000 people, or a small, small venue like the Jay Zoo with the wonderful acoustics and the very reverent uh, approach they take to play, uh, improvisational music in the late night series, that the people here are very, very receptive, and you can see it in the Daily Reportage, in the Gazette, and the other newspapers and magazines that cover this festival, because it, it's important when people respond to things that the, the, that the administration and the way that the festival set up is that there's a feedback loop where it's actually heard and felt. And if things aren't quite right, you can see the evolution of this downtown square and the structure and the influence that uh, the Jazz Festival has on the city year-wide. Year it employs all these people. It brings uh, everyone into, into contact, not just once for 10 days, but for uh, 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 12 months out of the year, 24-7.